Hello, I'm the designer of LegendaryReviews.com. Today, I'm going to give you a little tutorial on Camtasia Studio 7, the newest um, Camtasia. And, um, you know, I'm just going to show you, you know, a, a few little simple things. I'm not going to show you much. It's, it's going to be a short little tutorial. Um, and, um, all right, here we go. First, uh, you put in a video. I'm just going to use a random one right now. All right, and add it to the timeline. And as you'll see, it's um a little small in the player. Um the reason for that is cuz this video is at a really low resolution. So um, let's say you have a video that's in low quality and um, it's in a really small resolution. It does when it's on YouTube, it doesn't take the whole player. Um, you can just use Camtasia and you can uh, stick it in here. And what you can do is go to Zoom In Pan. Most people don't know about this. Right click on and click Snap to Video Edges, and it will take up the whole player on YouTube once you render it. I'll show you how to render it in HD soon um and i'm um, basically camtasia is really meant for recording the screen like i am right now um but I, I found it to be useful for um many other things such as this it's not only good for recording i i'll use it for recording you know every once in a while all right um now uh, one thing i want to point out is in camtasia studio 6 um it looks really different from this the not only does the design look way better than it did before, um, they added a lot of new features, such as they give you pre-animated stuff. Um, you can obviously get more. Um, it's pretty cool. You can make intros using this. It has sounds that comes with it. It's pretty cool. Um, I like them. They have like audio editing. The transitions are basically the same. They just have all the same ones. They didn't really change anything with that. Um, Callouts, that is pretty cool. You can do a lot of amazing things with this. Um, one thing that is really useful is you can make watermarks for like the edge of your um, videos. And uh, I've, as you can see in um, most of our videos, um, I know a lot lately I've been a little lazy and I haven't been putting the watermark in all them. Um, you'll see a watermark in our videos, you know, little legendary views, um, dot com one. And uh, I I'm going to show you how to do that. All right. You got to go down and um, click on this image thing. It will, um, you pick an image. You need one that's going to have um, transparency in it. Or, you know, it'll be, like, boxed in the corner of the screen. And, um, yeah, the computer's running a little slow right now because the recording does that to it. Um, on default, it will have, um, a shadow. I, I like the, I like to take the shadow off. All right. Where the heck is that? They moved it. I'm not really um, totally used to this program yet. I'm really used to Camtasia 6. This is a really big change. Um, just put it in the corner. And what you'll want to do is you'll want to make it transparent. I always make it not too transparent, but 50% transparent. And uh, you want to go down here make it so it's the whole video and all you gotta do is produce and share now normally when you do this it will go to web automatically that's because I already set it to go to HD so um, when you go on here you'll normally see this all you do is just click on the arrow click HD and that will render it in a 720p format for YouTube And that's basically it. It will render it um, depending on your computer. It will it will um, take a while usually, 
And um, that's about it. And um, I will make another video on how to use um, Cyberlink Power Director, another um, video editing program. This is mainly for recording, but, you know, I just wanted to show you this because it's pretty cool. It could be very useful. And, um, yep, um, I'll talk to you in my next video. And don't forget to go to legendaryreviews.com for game reviews, cheats, downloads, and so much more. Goodbye. Thank you.